people, welcome back to Politics Watch. This is Serpy. Now, today I'm going to talk about two cases. The first one I'm going to address is what happened over there in Old Harbor with a policeman mother. And the second one will be about the 15 year old youth from um, Ascot High. And the real, um, what I want people to understand is this. Nowadays, in Jamaica, you don't really have to do nothing to lose your life anymore. Remember one time back in the day when something happened, first thing people used to say was, well, he must did mix up in a this, or she must did mix up in a this, or he must did this time on you, or he did do this, or I'm thief this. Nowadays, you don't have to do nothing at all. Just by being related to the wrong person, or going to school with the wrong person, right, or playing sports with the wrong person, might end up sending down a medalist way too early. People, I want you to understand, over there, in um, Old Harbor, a 57-year-old woman by the name of um, Leah Tita Francis, right, was at her shop when some 87s pulled up on her and wet her up. Now, what did this lady do? Nothing at all, except just so happened to having a son who is a member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Now, the reports are apparently the policeman take out somebody and this was retaliation um, for that person. Now, let me tell you some things, people. And I want you to understand something about most 87s. I'm talking 95%, maybe 99% of 87s. People, they're my coward. They target the people who they know they're most likely to pull up on and get away. Right? If a policeman, they're bridging something. If a policeman wet up your bridge in something, since you're a bad man, since you're a wicked man, since it's a tough, when you go pull up on the policeman, it's real simple now, because you know who, you know the policeman you have a problem with. So since you're so bad, and since you want to settle the score, and since as you claim that the policeman take out your friend, when you go pull up on the policeman, when you try to take the policeman, I'll tell you why, because you're a coward. See, these are the people Jamaicans praise, you know. These are the people, these are the people who big up in a, in, in a dance and big up and, 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 and give much ratings to, right? These are the people who kerosene eyes go crazy over. Them coward, yeah. Right? Because, go settle your score with the policeman. No, you're gone for the man, mother. Because you know, there is a 0.001% chance say your mother is capable of defending herself. That is why I want to go. Because I'm a coward. I'm a waste man. And as I say, this is who Jamaica love. Yes, Jamaica. But everybody I look around for. This is who I love. Right? This is who people sing, talk about. Because when I'm when I go to dance and when you're a man, if a boy this, I'm going to wait up on the mother on the bus blank. If a boy this, I'm going to wait up in pit them on the bus blank. And say, Rrrr. I don't love them speech there. Well, see it here. See it manifest here. This is what we as a culture love. So everybody around the pandong and I go and let them know um, this is what we love as a people, as a culture, this is what we love, no? No? Everybody I look around for like me, no sir Peter about. This is what we love. See it manifest yeah. This is the face of badness, you know. This is the true face of badness. A 57-year-old woman who is in her shop minding her own business, end up doing a mirror or doing a dove card way too soon. Did not arm a fly. People, I wanna even realize. What is going on in this country? You know? And as I say, no, because it is turning up on everybody's doorstep. All of a sudden, everybody starts running up and down like a left chicken. I wonder what I go on. And let me tell you something, people. Jamaicans, we treat crime like how a man treats him, matey. I'm going to explain what I mean by that. Because now we are alone, alone given a certain reasoning. You know? People, Jamaicans, treat crime like how enough man treat them, matey. See, imagine a man having a wife and him having a mate here road. And one day, the mate decides, you know what? Can't bother with this hiding business. Can't bother with this sneaking business. Me go pull up and introduce myself to the wife. And then when the mate pull up on the wife and the husband and say, yo, what go on? The husband now, I go look the mate dead in her face and, and I go ask her, who you? The husband, after I'm spending much money upon her, buy her, buy her, buy her much weave and buy her much clothes and send her go much party. 
would have sent her, would have paid for all her light bill and her water bill. Now that's the mate he pull up on him and they write in front of him face, he might ask her, who you? Right? And when the wife ask him, who this? He might say, me no know. That's how Jamaican street crime. Because as a people, we nurture crime, we promote crime, we love crime, we big up criminals, we sing songs about criminals, we make movies about criminals. Then when time crime turn up in front of it and show it ugly face, for example, in this scenario, everybody start looking around, oh this happen, oh this, me no know how this. People, you reap what you sow. 57 year old woman, right? And as me say, them you tell, them could have go pull up on the police man, but them probably know where they go. Him probably, the 87 who do this, no say, him probably would have been on the losing side of that battle. So him go for the man mother instead. And let me tell you something. Whoever pulled this off, if I were you, me I run and go the farthest, deepest, darkest corners of, of, of the world. Because, may I tell you right now, every policeman on that side of the country, I look for you. I'll be very surprised if the man them who pull this off make it to a courthouse. I would be very surprised if the man them who take out Leah Tita Francis end up to see a courthouse. Indicom might as well start preparing them documents. Indicom might as well start draft up them letters right, and them statements because I can't see them money surviving to make it to a courthouse after them go take out a policeman mother. That's in a signal to the rest of the force. Trust me people, this one not go nice. Right? So that was the first story I want to talk about. The next one, over there in Portmore, Ascot. 15 year old youth, right? By the name of um, Jaheem Palmer. Now, it turns out, according to the residents, it was a case of mistaken identity. As in, the man them didn't come for this youth um, in particular. Them come for one of them friend them or somebody him know. And after they make after the friend, right, the man end up run and left the bike. The, 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 the man did up on a bike. And when the man when the 87s they make off for him, it looked like the bike drop or something, but he end up run and left the bike. Now this youth went to go collect the bike. People again, this is coming from the residents. So I'm just telling you what the residents say must say. Of course, you already know a simple Simon that say right now, right? But I'm just saying what the residents must say. I don't know what's going to come on down the road, right? But this youth, 15 year old Jayim Palmer, went to retrieve the bike. And in the process of retrieving the bike, it looked like the man named Thing said it was the original person who they make off a come back for the bike, end up wet up the youth. And when all was said and done, it turned out it was 15 year old Jayim Palmer, a student of Ascot High School. Just like that, gone. 15 year old. Right? See, and the residents themselves have said he wasn't the youth. The youth never involved in nothing. The, the, the same they never come for the youth. Now, why him go for the bike? I don't know. It can be as simple as the, the, the 87 tell him, say, Yo, go on for the bike, they run for me. Or him see him bike drop, him bridge, him bridge in the bike drop, and he decide to go for it. People I don't know, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at this point because all we know is a 15 year old youth who was not the intended target, a 15 year old high schooler youth with him future ahead of him is now gone. Just like that. Right? Just like that. It don't take nothing at all to lose their life in a Jamaica. Absolutely nothing. You don't have to do nothing. You don't have to be in a gang. You don't have to be at 87. Right? Just like that. As I said in the old Arba case, you can just be somebody mother, you can just be the wrong man brother, you can be the wrong man cousin, you can be the wrong man friend. Right? This is where we are, people. This is where we are. And as I said, as a, as a society, we are now reaping what we sow for the last 10, 20, 30 years. The fruits of our labor are now coming in front of us. Right? We plant the seed them years and years ago. Right? Pour water upon them, fertilize them, sun um, shine upon them, photosynthesis occur, and here's the here's the big tall tree that has grown now, right in front of you. I know the world of a ton fool. Now we're all wondering how did we get here? As if this is an overnight thing. But both of these cases just really annoy me people, especially the old Arbor case. Especially the old Arbor case. Because the Ascot student, we don't know what might come out down the road, right? But the Olaba case, 
the woman will do nothing at all. Right? And the Ascard youth, regardless, it was a young youth, had a bright future ahead of him. People in the community say he wasn't the target, so we don't know what else to say. Right? But people, we don't know. We don't know. It, 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 it. One thing I've realized since I've started this channel, right, is that just by consuming so much bad news on a daily basis, after a while it just get depressing people, right? See, it's one thing when you just normally, but like before, when I just go about life and I hear about incident here and I hear about an incident there, but now, since I've had this channel with people and since we have the movement going, because I'm constantly consuming news, consuming news and hearing what's going on here and here now and what's going on there. After a while people get really, really pressuring to just consume so much things and to just realize what go on on the earth. Realize what go on in a Jamaica. Yeah. But we still a keep the mission. We still a stay mission focus and we still a push forward. So Patreon squad, big up on yourself. Please like, comment and share the video. Bless.